Welcome back, family. Happy. And here we go. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a somewhat good 2021, even though I know it was full of like crap. Gaga. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, today. Me and Alexis decided um, we're going to do something different with this video. Today we're discussing um, our plans for 2022. Um, what we want to accomplish, what we want to get done, where do we want to see ourselves at the end of the year before the next year comes. And We decided to incorporate that with a seafood mukbang. So today she recommended that we get seafood from hook and reel and because i've been craving it i don't know why you're so crazy about freaking seafood boils but is that good eh i'll just take crabs and i'll be fine but um let's see i don't even know who's the twos because so. Mine is spicy. Yeah, mine is mild. I can't even. I can't even see inside the bag. Okay, we got some napkins. Yummy. Some wipes. They're warm. All right, so here's one boil. This one is mine. Oh, damn. Mild. How do you know? It says it on there? Yeah, it has like the thingy on it. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Wait, Original but. Cajun. It says rice. Where's the rice? Oh, they got us. I was about to say, is this the rice? Shut up. No. Oh, they got us together. Definitely says rice. Friend? Oh, yeah, I can't even see yeah, it. I can't even see that. It says rice, and there's no rice. Oh. I mean, we have rice in the refrigerator, but like. No. Holmes, no. Your receipt says rice, though. Missing. And then rice. Oh shoot. No, just yeah, just click that. Hmm. Uh, of course. So how are you guys' 20, well, how, how's y'all's 2022 going so far? Yeah, that's, that's how ours is going. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, the rice is not in here, so, you know. God dang it. Do you want me to heat up the rice? No, because I, I wanted, like, fresh rice. That is, I made it yesterday. I think they use wild rice. They no, they give you white rice. Do they? Yeah. I thought it was wild rice. That I mean, I could just heat up the whole container of white rice and we could just eat out of it. And then if, like, they want anything for dinner, I mean, we keep rice in this house. So, it's not like it's going to be like a... I don't want no rice anymore. That just kind of blew my whole... But that would be good. That'd be, that would taste good. Mm -hmm. I want rice. Mm -hmm. I will be back. Oh, my gosh. A few moments later... Rice. You did all that for some freaking rice. Yeah. Right, let's see what this food is. You're <laughs> hot. Okay, so they gave me three pieces of corn. You want one of mine? Yeah, they gave me a whole bunch of potatoes. Oh, give me them. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so. 
I feel like they gave you two bags so you can put like your trash in one bag and then yeah. your yeah. boil is in the other, I'm assuming. I don't know. All right, so I got the Cajun mild and Dillian got the spicy one. Okay. With some corn, some potatoes, some shrimp, some crab legs. And whatnot, so telling Tom Boy, it's not gonna be too spicy for me, bro. You're talking about using your hands, you're using a fork. <laughs> okay, I'm like a sucker for potatoes. I love potatoes, they're good. Though. The potatoes. Mm -hmm. You don't even like hair. No, like you do. I'm tripping. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so. Alright, so. Um. Um. Okay. So I guess we'll start with 2022 is here. And. A couple of days ago, I told Jillian that my New Year's resolution was going to be me being nicer to him because he thinks that I'm mean to him. Like, he thinks that, like, I'm always, like, I don't know. I don't really know what you think I am to you, really. You just call me mean, but other than that, like... He calls me mean. So, I made a New Year's resolution that I was going to be nice to him. And I wouldn't argue with him. And I wouldn't yell at him unless, unless, he deserved it. Unless I deserved it. Yeah. When do you really deserve to get yelled at? When you know you did something stupid. Or, or or did or are going to do something stupid? Now, for argument's sakes, <laughs> because we tend to argue a lot, I cannot say that. Ooh. I won't yell at you during arguments because he has a tendency of raising his voice. When we argue. And then that makes me raise my voice. And then he'll end up calming down. But then once no, I'm already... No, 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 no. When I'm already no, up no, there... No, 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 no. That's when... Let's not even do it like that. What? Slow down. It is. First of all, we get into arguments because of you. When you have stuff you want to... When you have stuff that you're passionate about and you want to argue about it, most of the time, I let you have it. No, you don't. Okay, bro. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to say all the time, but sometimes you do, yes. <laughs> but it doesn't happen all the time. Okay. No, you don't. So how are you about to accomplish this? You need a revolution? I mean, you said it's just me, or is it like everybody in general? Well, God. you're the only one that says Damn, that. Damn, bitch, don't kick it. You're the only one that says that I'm mean to you. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> Bless you. Don't sneeze over here. It's your spice that's making me sneeze. Um, Nobody else claims that I'm mean to them. But then that brings on Jillian's point. You're only mean to me, bro. Oh. <laughs> what did they put in your boil? Oh man. This uh, Cajun seasoning kicking. It's good as hell though. How I'm going to accomplish this is by getting a therapist because I'm gonna need some help <laughs> with that. Hmm. But other than that, 
I feel like any like all all like I can't even talk. Overall, my New Year's resolution involves some kind of like peace of mind because I'm always like I'm always I'm high strung like I have no patience. <clears throat> I like <clears throat> my emotions are always all over the place. Like it's just I need to find a better way of coping with my emotions and all of my the stuff that I deal with on a daily basis in a better manner because it is starting to take a toll on me and probably almost anybody who's around me as Dillian can probably attest for. <coughs> so God. I, from being nice to Dillian, that's what I hope to accomplish. I hope to accomplish oh, finishing school. I mean like what I hope to be my last two semesters of school before I can get into the nursing field. So let me see about that. How about you? Oh, you're done? I mean, that's what I hope to accomplish. Okay. I want this big potato. Take it. I know you. Why don't you not like your potatoes? <clears throat> I mean, I have like four potatoes in here. But. Not too good. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um. Man, this is hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to what you said, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say you can't do it. Mm. It's definitely gonna be challenging. It's gonna be hard. It it, it is. <laughs> but um, go ahead. Your New Year's resolution. What do you think to accomplish? Hope to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm. My New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to stop. I wouldn't say I make excuses for a lot of stuff. Because I don't that much. But I need to go in this year by giving everything my all and not making excuses for me not doing it or why I'm currently not doing it. Like for example, YouTube, how we will post and we'll go on breaks and we'll say we're busy or we're dealing with this or family related issues. Which is usually the case. Like yeah. It's not a lie, but it's not that we don't want to do it, but it's just, life gets overwhelming sometimes, and I'm not saying you don't have the time or, like, well, yeah, I'm basically saying you don't have the time, but it's not that we don't want to make videos, it's just, I felt like. You felt like this in the past, or like? No, I've been feeling like this since, like, I felt it the most last year because I felt like we were upload we were uploading we were getting a lot of stuff done despite what we was going through last year and we just stopped like for a little bit like for like three months or so yeah and I feel like that's not fair to like people who actually like watching us and ourselves cause it kind of shows that <clears throat> we can't handle our life under pressure and still get stuff done. So mm. I don't it, think it means that per se. I mean, no, but that's how I have to look. I feel like that's how I have to look at it in order for me to like 
go harder at certain things. I mean, if that's how you feel, then I need to go harder too because I'm not, he's not the only one that has to make videos or can make videos. Like, I can make videos without him. There's videos that I could do that, you know, necessarily might not need you in it. Like, you know, I think we can both use that. Yeah, but. I feel like that's the the main thing I want to tackle this year and like see what the outcome would be if like I really went my hardest at everything for like a year straight. You see what that would put us? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I want to see if like we're going to be in a different space or yeah, basically where we would, where we would be. If we went like full throttle with our content, so, and I feel like that's mostly on my part because most of the time it's like the videos and stuff is like, is that yeah. Close the door, Mackenzie. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ugh. you also do have a full-time job, so it I is kind of hard to kind of figure out <sighs> timing for things and all Ugh. that. So, you know. <sighs> Is that all you hope to accomplish? Um, it's this food good as heck, but drink your water. I don't want. It's spicy, but I don't want to stop eating. <laughs> it is good though. <laughs> oh my gosh, but. Yeah, so I would say that's my that's the main thing I want to tackle and um just like she brought up me working all the time I want to try to make more time for them cuz I feel like I'm at work more than like I'm at home it's like I live at work and I'm part time at home. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, but I feel like that's I wanna, a lot. I want to tackle that. That's gonna be that's gonna be kind of challenging because. I mean, but that also plays a part in how the whole YouTube journey goes, like throughout the year. Like, if we can get to a place where that can actually be like your like soul, like not soul and like income or whatever but like but the main like the main, one of the main, so, main sources. sources yeah and just like live our lives like just uploading and just having fun and just being a creator i mean that helps yeah but yeah definitely i can agree with that because it's like because I'm in school, like as of right now, like I'm not technically working, even though I want to. But it is not, I'm not gonna say it's hard on the kids. I mean, it is hard on them because they're like constantly asking like where their dad is and what he's doing and always wanting to talk to him and the type of job he has, he can't always be on the phone with them and talk to them when they want to. So, it's kind of challenging, but there are some times where you're home early. I mean, it just honestly it just depends. Yeah. But 
I've been here for definitely make things easier. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But I guess that's I might come up with like more stuff later on, but I feel like that's the main two things I've been trying to um focus on. But my main is just being more consistent and going hard hard and giving every everything I do the a, a thousand percent like just so I can say like I actually didn't BS myself in a way like oh well I could have did this because but I didn't do it because I didn't put all my no I don't want to say that later on I want to at least try to give it my all and if it didn't work and you could say like at least you tried like yeah. You didn't. You know what I'm saying? But. What do you expect for 2022? I don't know. Kind of scared. Yeah. Alexis made the camera die. <laughs> My bad. But what she was saying was. What do you she, hope to happen in 2022? When I told her I'm scared because. All this variant stuff going on. That, yeah. You gotta get shots. Yeah, it's like it's giving. I don't know, like. This is crazy. We're both fully vaccinated. We're not like I haven't gotten my booster shot yet. Yeah. I don't think he has, but it's come up a couple of times, like a bunch of times in conversation, like whether or not we get the kids vaccinated and stuff like that and it's just it's too much speculation there's too much stuff going on like it's just not to say like i'm anti-vax but i'm definitely not like my kids are all immunized up and everything like that but it's just something about this vaccine because it's so new and like i don't know it's just it's too it's, it's a lot to consider i i don't know yeah. i don't know yeah, but so I I definitely hope that 2022 Honestly I don't even know I don't even know what to hope for at this point because it's just like it's been um, it's, it's been, been it's about to be the third, third year, yeah. Going on like going on. Like this is this is crazy. I can bro, I can really remember when what was that like the end of 2019 everybody was talking about this yeah. COVID and Corona, but it was like a meme. <laughs> and then this joint came around and just messed everything up. Now we got Delta, we got COVID, we got Delta, we and, got Florona. We and got, the funny part is they talk what, about, the, oh yeah, if you're vaccinated, you still need a booster. All right, cool. So I was on the edge of probably thinking about getting a booster shot, but then, uh, then I found out that you get the booster shot and it still doesn't help you with the new variant so it's like well no because there's two booster shots there's a covid booster and then there's the the um the omicron booster or the delta what i'm i'm probably getting my facts wrong i don't know oh marion got us messed up that's all i, I do see. know that they have two boosters and they're both actually supposed to protect you against both variants but it's not supposed to you know, make you sub like non susceptible to the virus. Like you can still get it. It's just if you're vaccinated, the vaccine is supposed to help lessen your symptoms so they're not as severe. Which honestly makes sense because you think about it. Like you get the flu shot. Every well, you well you don't because every time you get the flu shot, you get sick. Sometimes. I don't know if that's every time, but for me, like if I get a flu shot and I get the flu, like my symptoms won't be as bad as if I didn't. This year, I haven't gotten my flu shot. Like I haven't, I completely forgot. Hmm. So like, yeah, I'm kind of lacking over there, but when it comes to the hopes and stuff for 2022, I just hope that this stuff can be manageable, maintained or contained and that we can move on to getting this stuff 
handled not saying that we're going back to like how society was before because i don't think it'll ever get that way or get back to that <clears throat> but at least we can try it's just like it's a lot but <sighs> yeah I hope 2022 is filled with new, oh. more, and newer blessings. Oh! And that, you know, we get the things. Excuse me, I have like hiccups. We get the things that, like, you know, we want to get done and handle the things that we need, that we need to control or handle, and all of that. You know. Yeah. Especially with the kids, Kai, your birthday is coming up. Kai's birthday is coming up. I'm about to be 19. My mom's birthday. What? I'm about to be 19. You thought. If you're 19, I'm 18. Yeah. I'm fine with that, but I don't want to go back to me being tur me turning 18 because me turning 18, I spent my whole birthday in the hospital. Damn. <laughs> like. Gosh. I was in labor with Kenzie on my 18th birthday all day. Like, she just wouldn't come until, well, I'm glad she came the next day, but barely the next day. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. This year, starting off rough, I had a bunch of friends who had birthday celebrations this month and the beginning of this month, and I couldn't make those, sadly. And then now we got to, I got to plan for his birthday this year, even though he's a sour puss and is like, I don't want to do anything for my birthday, but that's not who I am. So that's who I am. That's not who I am. You get a birthday when you're with me. Sorry, fam, but you do. No. I so. I ain't 12 no more. I mean, I the next it. milestone of. It's like 30. It is. Mm, yeah. No. It's like. No. It's 23. 20, no. It's, it's 25. 21. It's 21. It's 18, 21. 20. And, and then there's nothing after 25 that. 25 and 30. 25 is not a milestone birthday. It should be. You're almost 30. Yeah, but I don't think they count it as a milestone birthday. I think right, so 30, your next milestone 30, birthday. No. 30. Your next milestone birthday is like 50. Because that's half of a hundred. That's actually thirty like, is a milestone, Alexis. For who? Thirty is a milestone. Since when? Bro, you. Okay. I have never. I have no family members that have actually celebrated the thirtieth birthday with a bang, because it was that important. I know. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Just because they didn't done this. Fifty. Seventy-five. What? 75? You mean 70? No, 75. 70 is a milestone. Oh my god, bro. Anyway. I don't know. I, I don't, honestly, I could barely keep count at how old my family members are. So, to be honest, how old is my mom going to be this year? 54? 54? 54? My grandma's 74? Why are you why are you looking at me for confirmation? Because you always know. Sixty nine. Sixty nine? Who the heck is born in sixty nine? My mom. No, she wasn't. But I'm not about to I'm not about to say it. What she what was she Yes she was. She's not born in sixty nine. I bet you hundred <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're funny bro, you're you're wild, man. But if somebody forgot your birthday, you would be sick. Yeah, when was she No, I'm not even about to. Ask yes, you. she was. No. Because she was 20 years old when she had Kia, and Kia's birthday is no. 83. No. Try again. Kia's birthday was nope. 80. My sister's birthday, she was born in 1980. Your mom is not born in 60. She was 20 something years old when she had. Do you want to bet? Just let me know if you want to bet. <laughs> Stop wrapping me up. Just let me know if you want to bet. Right. <laughs> I could be wrong, but... No, I could be wrong. Because Kia was born in 83. Uh-huh. 
Was she? Yeah. It'll be Jasmine's 90. Yeah, because she's, no, she's five years older than Jasmine. Jasmine is 93. <laughs> this is crazy. She was 20 when she had her, which means my mom is 60, 67. Right. Yep. 69, 67. No. Wow, what's two years? Two years. <laughs> Am I 25? <laughs> right. That's, you could be. You could pass could for it. But that's not a big jump. You made it seem like it was like, whatever. I'm full. But yeah. honestly, ah. <sighs> 2022 is going to be... Shit. It'll be interesting. I'm not going to jinx it, but... What happened? I'm sitting here thinking these is gloves. I mean, uh, wipes. They're freaking gloves. Oh, shoot. <laughs> why you give us six packs of gloves? I thought it was like moist towelettes or something. I did too. That's why I opened it. Y'all could have said something. Looking real buggy. Oh, that's because there's only one glove in each... Oh. No, there's two. So who the heck has three sets of hands? You know what? I don't know. Anyways, book. Yeah, 2022 is going to be in one for the books. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff to do in 2022. And a lot of work to do. A so. lot of stuff to prepare for. And? Hopefully, I can get this degree. And? And be making some money so he could take a break. Yeah, okay. From working so hard. I'll never do that. That's not Even me. if I was the breadwinner? No. Shop for nurses is making a lot of money I'll right now. I'll even work at 7-Eleven or something. Uh, instead of just I staying make, home. I gotta make my own money. I don't know about you. Okay, but you'll have YouTube. Hopefully. Hopefully, guys. Pray for me. Pray for us. But we'll have YouTube. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this mukbang. The camera's about to die again. We'll see you in the next video. Be safe, stay focused, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. All right. Our hands are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, I can't even get up for your legs. <laughs> I wait, I'm stuck. Okay.